Do not be afraid to disagree. Do not be afraid to speak up, to speak out, to be the one person in the room who has an opinion that is contrary to everyone else. And that is not for the sake of being confrontational. That's for the sake of speaking the truth. There are situations in life where no one is going to agree with you. No one's going to agree with your point of view or with your suggestion. Does that mean that your suggestion is not valid? Does that mean that your point of view is not valid? Does that mean that you're not telling the truth, even if no one agrees with you? Today's word of the day is objection. You know, when you're watching a movie and um, the lawyer um, disagrees with something that the other party is saying, he, he or she would say, objection, your honor. How many times have you been in situations, in rooms? It could be at work. It could be in a family environment. It could be in a relationship. And you feel like you can't speak up. You can't speak out. You can't go against what the popular opinion is or the stronger opinion is. And you can't speak what you know or what you feel. You're going to have to make an objection. And this applies especially in those areas of life where you have been having circular conversations and things have been happening over and over and over again. And you need to speak up. You need to break that silence. That, because what the silence does is it says this is okay. And in order to keep the peace with the people around you in order to keep the peace at work or at home or in a particular friend group, what do you do? You stay silent and you don't object. You just go with the flow and you go along with what everyone else is doing. Now, I'm not saying object, like I said in the beginning, I'm not saying object just for the sake of, of objection. I'm not saying object just to be different, right? This is in those situations where you know you really should say something, where you know what you have to say is going to bring value and it's going to bring depth and it's going to bring clarity. There are many times where you have sat still and allowed certain conversations to happen and allowed circumstances to play out because you didn't object. The courage to object, it's going to come from inside you and it's going to come when you get clear on the fact that you are going to be a woman who speaks the truth no matter what room she's in, no matter how much opposition she comes up against, you are going to speak the truth and you speak the truth in love, you speak the truth in wisdom, you speak the truth in clarity, but you speak the truth. And speaking the truth is going to require you to object at some point in time. And you're going to need the strength to do that because when your personal vision is at stake and your personal vision is your purpose, when that is at stake, it is not only about you, it's about everything and everyone who is tied to you. This affects your family, it affects your, your, your friendships, it affects society, it affects the world. I think women don't realize how important we are and what we touch. And this is not that men are not important too, but... My platform is really geared to women and I really work with women. So I'm speaking to women specifically, but men, you can take this with a grain of salt as well. We don't realize the influence that we have and we don't realize the influence of our objection to shift 
places and spaces that are taking people we love and care about in the wrong direction. So if you care about the room that you are in and you care about the people in the room, you are going to have to object at some point in time to what is happening. So the question today is, in what space have you been staying silent? In what space have you been going with the flow when your objection is needed? Where do you need to voice an objection? And here's the thing, that space and that place where you need to voice an objection may not be a space and place where anyone else is standing. It may be inside of yourself that you need to put your foot down and you need to say no more. I'm not eating this way anymore. I'm not spending my money this way anymore. I'm not going to allow myself to be spoken to this way by myself. Because a lot of us, what happens is it's not that other people are talking us down. It's not that other people are talking us out of our own dreams and desires. It's that we're doing it to ourselves. So the objection is not only for others. The objection may be for you. So take some time and do some soul searching and ask yourself, what have I been accepting that I really need to object? I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you soon.